everyone. Welcome to one of my videos. Um, the last two drone videos I made were with the uh, camera. It came with the drone, the Bugs 5W. Uh, <clears throat> the Bugs 5W drone. It really sucked. So I'm going to show you my modifications I made for my GoPro 7. It's a little more weight and a little bit more height on it due to because of that. As you see, I extended the legs on it so to compensate for my GoPro. So, and everything else. This is going to be a test flight. Yeah, you can see the poor quality of the video that the camera came with. The camera was supposed to be 4K video. And it really sucked. I mean, for, I did it during the park day and nighttime. It just sucked. So all that was with the drone camera. So any footage from this point forward is going to be with my GoPro 7. Black edition, of course. So yeah, as you can see, a slight modification I made, not really not invasive to it. What I've done is I took a zip tie and some double-sided tape so it won't fall off. Hopefully it won't fall off. Um, in the past I had trouble with that before. I had it screwed into the drone, but I want nothing invasive to the drone. This is a decent little drone. Um, I'm liking it so far. It has the uh, GPS, all that stuff, follow me. Um, as I said, the, white, the camera sucked like balls. It really did. You can see in the last two videos I made. So, no. Um, this will be the first test flight with the GoPro 7. With the modifications on it. Hopefully, everything's good enough and center-wise. Said it's going to make the borders work a little bit more harder because there's more weight on it and everything else. So what I've done, I took a, a coat hanger, plastic coat hanger, cut pieces out of it to extend the legs, use electrical tape to tape it to the legs. So nice and sturdy so far. Well, let's fly the drone and see how it goes and everything else. All right.